New details tonight in the murder of a Spokane teen girl found shot in the head and dumped in a rural part of Yakima County. Tonight, the Yakima County Sheriff's Office confirmed they have a person of interest who happens to be a convicted sex offender. Crime 2's Kyle Sunchuk spoke to a woman who says she let the teen stay with her right before she vanished. Her personality was joyful. Her smile was joyful. She's so pretty. That's how 17-year-old Samantha Collinchuk, or Sam, is remembered by a woman who gave her a place to stay. Shauna Fromang says she met Sam last summer when the teen was living on the streets. I tried to give her good advice and, and steer her in the right path. But Shauna says she noticed some immediate red flags. Sam was hanging out with an older man she claimed was her uncle. Shauna did some digging and found out it wasn't a family member, but instead a convicted level 3 sex offender. She blocked his number and, and she didn't want anything to do with him. I don't, I don't know how she ended up talking to him again. I, I just know it has to be because of that stupid car. A car Shauna claims Juan Carlos Sandoval bought Sam. Shauna says she contacted law enforcement to report the two were together, but this winter Sam left Spokane and went radio silent. Her phone wasn't active anymore, nothing, it just went cold. On April 30th, a property owner in Mabton, a small town west of the Tri-Cities, noticed a foul smell, which led to Sam's body. She died from a single gunshot wound to the head. The Yakima County Sheriff's Office says it's aware of reports that Sam and Juan Carlos Sandoval spent time together between Spokane and Yakima. Sandoval was arrested days after Sam's body was found on unrelated charges. The Yakima Herald Republic reports Sandoval also has a warrant out of Benton County for a first-degree kidnapping charge and failing to register as a sex offender from Spokane Superior Court. Authorities in Yakima now calling Sandoval a person of interest in Sam's murder. The sheriff's office says Sandoval asked for a lawyer when questioned by detectives. Tonight, he remains in jail. I didn't want her to be forgotten because so many girls are just forgotten. Shauna says Sam, like many teens, thought she was invincible. She still has a lot of questions about the case, and so do we. It's a story Krem 2 will continue to dig through. In Spokane, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.